Uh, Todd, did you hear about this? The American Medical Association has gone woke. The organization releasing a language guide that promotes critical race theory and attacks capitalism. Fox News medical contributor Dr. Mark Siegel joins me now. Dr. Siegel, how do you feel about this document um, that the American Medical Association released, Medical Association released, about critical race theory? I'm pretty outraged about this, Carly, for a number of reasons. First of all, I know Dr. Jerry Harmon, who's the president of the AMA. I have interviewed him recently. He's a family practitioner from South Carolina. He's all heart. And I can't even believe he signed on to this and has actually talked about it. Listen, what does the AMA need to be doing? What is its role? I mean, it needs to be worrying about vulnerable communities, but at parsing the difference in language between a so-called marginalized community and one that's a group that's been socialized or mar marginal marginalized socially. I mean, changing the words this little with no impact other than to make the members feel like they're doing something wrong. We don't need to be policed. We don't need Orwellian over overlook or group think. We don't need, to, need to, this to be the Soviet union. Let me give you an amazing example of this. The language in there says there's something wrong with individual accomplishment, with meritocracy, that we should always be thinking in terms of the group. Well, excuse me, in order to become a prominent physician, like Dr. Harmon, you actually have to go through merit, don't you? How many tests you have to go through? How many courses you have to do? How many years of training you have to have? It's unbelievable that they would say this. I'm all for them looking at mental health, physical health of their members, by the way, who have been through a pandemic, for sure, and for those in, in underserved communities. But we don't need this kind of excess, obsessive attention to what the right word is. Dr. Siegel, the word was already you're making right too before. much sense. Yeah, the document also attacks the free market, which has been doing pretty well for us since the founding of this country. So what does this mean um, for medicine and how doctors treat patients? Um, is, does it mean anything or, or, or does it just another example of another body, a, a medical body this time, getting political? Uh, Carly, you just said it, 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 it right now. We, we are part of a very successful capitalistic system. We can't make it socialist and expect it to work. It doesn't work. It didn't work in the Soviet Union, and it isn't going to work here. If doctors feel they're being scrutinized and being overly criticized for saying one word versus another, that's going to be a disincentive for people going into medicine or feeling happy in medicine. Yeah. This is a time Dr. when Siegel, doctors yeah. have been crunched because of the pandemic. I really want to get this in because this is something that I think a lot of parents saw yesterday and we're really concerned about it. Um, the uh, In Loudoun County of all places, a county that's already been in the news so much because of schools, 112 um, children received an, an adult dose of the COVID vaccine or at least a portion of it. What's going to happen to these kids? Are you concerned? Well, I think, Carly, this is a great wake-up call that we got to be very careful as kids' dosing switches. But because it's a very small dose, yeah. I'm not that concerned. They may not get the protection that we would like if they had gotten the proper dose, but I'm not concerned about side effects. It, it, chances are, because it's a very small dose, they'll be okay. It's a wake-up call to make sure the dosing is always correct. We've had a rollout of almost a million kids getting it already. So far, yeah. so good. It's elective. It's with your pediatrician. Right. It's with your parent. Make the decision. Are you at risk? But I don't. I think yeah. we've got to monitor Mostly this, but I'm not worried about it front. particularly. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Dr. Siegel, thank you so much for joining us. we got to run. Todd, over to you. Carly